So after 40 years of ordained ministry and 20 years uh, as the pastor of Northway Christian Church, I am now in the last week of my formal ministry with this congregation. Uh, I'll preach this Sunday, and uh, then next Sunday, the 29th, will be my last Sunday as the pastor of this congregation, and really uh, the end of, of ministry the way that I have known it and done it for a lifetime. That, that gives me pause to, to think about things, to think about what I've tried to do and, and where I have found my inspiration and consolation. And one of the things that has occurred to me through this process of reflection is a, is a definition that, that comes out of the history of the church. As you know, in the, in the creeds, the affirmation is made of believing in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I've had, I've had folks walk out of a walk to Emmaus, Protestant folks walk out of a walk to Emmaus because they didn't want to pledge allegiance to the Catholic Church. But that Catholic doesn't mean the, the institutional Roman Catholic Church. It refers instead uh, to the universality of faith. In fact, it goes back to a, an ancient definition the, the Church has known from the beginning. First coined, we think, by a man named St. Vincent, St. Vincent of Leron. And he said that uh, the church needs to be insistent on, on teaching only those truths that are embraced by everybody, everywhere, and always. So I've been thinking uh, over the last 40 years of my ministry and over the last 20 years of ministry here, what are the, what are the everybody, everything, always kinds of things that we can affirm? And again and again and again, my, my heart has come back to the Lord's table. Uh, we have our differences. Uh, we don't see things in the same way. We, we have different styles of music that we prefer, different translations of the Bible we want to read. We have different understandings of core Christian convictions. But at least here in this church, the thing that brings us back together again and again and again is the Lord's table. It is the Catholic moment, the everyone, everywhere, always moment. As I think about my future, my connection with this church, and with all of the churches that I have been privileged to serve, is to know that when I gather at the table wherever I am, I am joined with everybody, everywhere, and always who's been a part of the family of faith and always will be.